Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today you're joining me from one of my all-time favourite circuits, Brands Hatch, for round six of my DTM championships. Uh, we're going to do 12 laps here today. I've got real weather running and I've run a qualifier. So uh, place second, Timo got me about, about 0 0.007 of a second. Um, let's get this underway, full grid. Might try the, uh, the clutch for this one, see how we go. Nope, did not help at all. Pushed out a little bit here as we go through Paddock into Pilgrims. Oh, big lock up through Druid. I know that I have my brake bias setting correctly, so I might wait until I'm on Pilgrims drop and then just adjust that a bit. You'll see that the um, DTMs will use, as, as per usual, they use DRS everywhere if it's not defined. Okay, so here we go. Let's set this all the way forward that's a bit better one more I'm not going to push it through Sheen here cars go pretty light through here let's come through Sterling's Into Clark. That's pretty average. Get DRS deployed. Super light in the rear through um, through Paddock. Oh, that Merc all over me. Don't know what's going on there. Me being slow. DRS deployed. Okay, let's see if we can catch up. Through Surtees. You can feel that the car wants to rotate as you come up that rise. Um, they're a lot less stable here, the DTMs are, than, um, than I found the GT3s. The, the Aston was very solid through here. Cheeky right of the curb. It's a shame that um, on there isn't an official brand's hatch for our Factor 2. And um, it's a shame that brand's hatch's history is kind of marred by so many safety issues in the past to the point that a lot of racing series pulled out. Um, official opening for the track was in 1950. Um, it wasn't until 1960-61 uh, though when the, uh, the track was seriously expanded with the move away from the kidney bean shape which is now obviously known as the Indy but into the, um, into the build of the GP layout that DRS. Um, so that was 60-61. Um, unfortunately though, within five years there were uh, three major deaths um, at Paddock, which led to some changes there. Then again in 71, and that led to uh, some major changes to spectator stands as well. And then um, of course it was the big F1 crash um, in 86 on the start line uh, and kind of the next year that was it, Formula 1 pulled out and went to um, Silverstone which I think is a, is a, is a, ch it's a shame um, this is a real driver's circuit um, I find Silverstone really boring for me motorsport in the UK is Kind of Brands Hatch, Donington, Snetterton, Cadwell. You 
Okay, it's causing a driver's track and then <laughs> can't drive. Okay, time to concentrate. Uh, even DTM pulled out um, for quite some time. Came back uh, in 2008, which was great to see. So it's really been Superbike and WTCC that's kind of been the staple here over the years. British touring cars. Gaining just a little bit. Locking up the rear still. <laughs> the rear gets very light through there when you get DRS. Very weathered in track at the moment, rub it in. That's what 90 minutes of practice here will do. Through Surtees, get the power down. Let's see how much time we can make up. If I really give it the beans through here. together could have well and truly made up more time than that that was a bit silly mostly mechanical grip through there then So the lead car gains nearly a second on me through Paddock and Druids. Wow. Looks like it's going to be a battle for second and third then. <laughs> Try to put it in my boot. So we lose a second gain, a second basically. down Brabham. Feel a little bit of a shake. Definitely got a flat spot. Just cannot get it right through paddock, that's for sure. are actually doing. can be such a hard corner. <clears throat> Some really quite technically difficult corners around this circuit. Obviously you've got Paddock 
coming up. I struggle here. And of course you've got Druid, which is, you go, you've got a, a hairpin on a rise, so you've already got a car that's light on weight and then under heavy braking. And then you've got Surtees, which I have a love-hate relationship with. Just wants to end you, that's just at the rise there. You can hear that wheel going. Come through Westfield, down into Dingle Dell, and then obviously you've got Sheen here. A blind right hander with very little runoff. Oh. Which has nearly given away my position. <laughs> that was almost race over then. Wow. Heart in the mouth for a second. See if we can keep the inside here. Ooh. Ooh. Got everybody hit that DRS. Wow, he's nearly seven seconds ahead. If I don't have enough um, negative camber on the front, I think that might be the issue. Maybe not enough toe. This doesn't seem to want to s turn in. And obviously, there's no traction control or ABS on these. All you have is a rear wing and mechanical grip. I did um, soften up the rears a little bit because it's so bumpy. Okay, how many laps have we got left? Okay. That Merc's right there. Wow. Not again, mate. Just shows how much time they make up through Pilgrims um, and Druid there. Uh, watching Le Mans this weekend. I hope you're enjoying it. Hopefully, um, hopefully we'll see Studio 397 drop Le Mans for 
uh, Factor 2 this weekend. All the hype's there. It'd be great for the sim if they do that. Bay, hopefully. Total brain fade then. Don't know why I dropped a second. Oh, come on, Surtees. Don't let me down. Not on the last lap. Come on, come on, come on. He's going to have a crack at me here. At Hawthorne. Westfield for the last time, down through Dingle Dell. Into your sheen. Cheeky ride there. Through Sterling for the last time. Heading down to Clark. Down Brabham and across the line. Wow. That was pretty full on. Into second. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.